the way Chloe goes all white when she's angry is so scary. She looks like an albino stick insect. <laughs> and wait till she finds out who did it. Who says she's ever going to? She's not stupid. And once she finds out, it's no job, no reference, and a bad reputation for the rest of our lives. Okay, look, a bad reputation is not that serious, believe me. No job. That really is. My mum is going to kill me. And I really need the money. Maybe we could get Harold to plead our case. He liked the photos, didn't he? So the fact that we triggered off a virus that went out every single last year's client doesn't matter? Come on, computer viruses happen all the time. It wasn't our fault. It so was. Well, then we'll make something up. Just twist the truth a little bit. Oh, lie, you mean? Come on. Trust me. Hi. Hey. I'm sorry to hear that, Mum. Is she okay? Yeah, uh, baby too. Oh, that's a relief. Yeah, it is. Well, I'm eating tiny for coffee, so better. Yeah, um, well, I'll catch you around. Okay. Yeah. She said something about bringing in a computer expert. I bet you they'll be able to find out who did it. As if they will, they're so paranoid. I'm not used to the memo that went out like a few months ago. It's like any unauthorised use of computers means instant dismissal. Yeah, I suppose sending out pictures of Afro Hal to everybody was pretty unauthorised. <laughs> yeah, I just keep thinking about all the weird people that must have got that. Oh yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Morris from Templestowe. Oh, but Mr. Soji, I remember him. He was totally bald and he kept on flirting with me. Yeah, he's probably got that picture of Afro Howard, like, hanging on his fridge now. Oh, fantastic. He probably thinks it's a new deal. He'll sleep three nights at last and get a new head of hair. <laughs> what are you doing back here? Um, guys, I just heard Chloe speaking to the IT expert in our office and they figured out that Nanny was the only person with computer access when the emails were sent. How? I don't know, but she wants to see you right now. Oh my god. Just remember Nina, lie, cry, deny, whatever it takes. I can't change the girl I am. She's been in there for ages. Yeah, well you know what Chloe's like, she's such a drama queen. She'll act like it's the end of the world and then give her a slap on the wrist. I tried to lie. I really did, but... I just couldn't. What happened? I've been fired. Would you hunt me down? Would you take me alive? Lucky that we found you. Chloe's looking for you. If it's about my uniform, I've already given it to the dry clothes. Well, you better get it back. She wants to rehire you. What? She changed her mind. Well, actually, I helped her change her mind. What did you say? Doesn't matter. So, do you want the job or not? Uh, of course I do. <laughs> oh my god, Danny. The way you can just lie and bend the truth is just a gift. Are you coming? Oh, no, you go on my shift's over. Okay.